Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC, which of course Paradox did give it to me for free, but we're playing as Poland, everyone's favorite Poland, but you know what, I think we need a little bit of a peasant strike. Poland is divided by the blood of peasants. All across the Polish countryside, the peasants are becoming radicalized by malicious government neglect. Ignacy Musici, Musicici is inevitably going to draw the strikes of violence, so we must prepare the proletariat to rise against their oppressors. Invite the front morgues. Our revolt will get nowhere without the support of at least some of the military, while most remain loyal to one of the three wings of the Senation. The front morgues are interested in restoring democracy to the Poland and may be amicable to collaboration with, with us to this end. And then follow it up with uh, Arm the Peasants. Now, I want to go communist. As you can tell from the thumbnail, uh, I want to go communist. We'll go democratic some other time, like actually democratic. But uh, I kind of want to go uh, communist. What is the reason was a sham? Daily political power gain is not bad. I don't get more daily democracy support, but... Yeah. Nation, state, and national council. When the civil war begins, common support increases by five. Armed peasant militias. Gain 40 units with six infantry battalions. Common support will increase by five. Hmm. Raise the Black Madonna. That's not bad either. Uh, you get a lot more war support, which I do like. We get armed peasant militias. Ah, let's get more political power for a state and national council. Well, after we do, of course, this one. Hey. This is a 70-day focus, yeah. The Senationists have the April Constitution to codify their beliefs, and it is far past time that we do the same. The State National Council will be established to bring together socialist politicians from across Poland to rectify the reactionary laws of the Senation. Also, as you can tell, we are on a historical right now, um, just because, well, I just saw Germany doing their stuff. Hopefully, the Soviet Union, we can have stay stable without having civil war, and, uh, well, Japan went down the line now. That shit. Emperor show up plus sixty percent stability. That's kind of nuts. That's actually very nuts. Um, France, we don't know which way they're going yet. UK, we don't know. Well, they're going to change the course. Hmm. Well, they could go fascist, or they could go communist, or maybe not aligned. I can't remember the path. I see you play Spain sometime, but my God, Spain is Spain's a lot of pain. Okay, so organ expand the peasant strike. Um, seize military equipment. Bring Biask into the strike. Remove ten days from it. So okay. What is this one? Same one, same thing. Bring Krakow. Oh, okay. It's already participating. It's not demilitarized. So we're gonna bring more states into this. So all this area will be with us. If that's the case, I wanna expand ourselves maybe like down here so we can cut these guys off. Or just expand ourselves so we have this tile as well. Um oh, bring them in, why not? Two hundred and thirty two one days. Seize military equipment, remove five days. More equipment will be available to the peasants when they begin to strike. Oh, we don't have enough for that. Definitely not enough. Nice. Then, communal governance. More stability would be pretty good, too. Le leftist Shem. Hmm. Armed peasant militias. The Polish peasantry will liberate themselves from their oppressors and through one way only, and that is by taking up arms and fighting the bourgeoisie. By using the political capital of the front morgues to steal equipment from the Senation. Uh, we will begin the war with fully trained and armed peasantry. Uh, nothing like a bunch of peasants killing each other. Oh, Wu General Staff. 209. Does it drop down? Oh, we have to wait for it. When removed. Okay. Expand strikes to the factories. Not bad. And we got one day left. And then we go all the way up to here. Cut them off right here. They can keep going this way. Um, that's 2 million over there. That's not as nearly many millions. Honestly, this is more civvies. I'd rather just take this one. So we can have a, a solid front line here. How oh, is that? Huh. Do that one and just keep going around some other ones as well. National, State National Council sounds really, really good. Yeah, we've got to be communists too. Good. Arm the militias. Oh, okay. Well, we got black shirts in the UK. I think it's probably best to keep our political power, maybe. I'm not sure if we can change it. We want to go to war economy. We become communists and just go straight to that one. I don't want to get any ministers because they could be canceled as soon as we start the Civil War, so let's just wait for that. So we've got these two. And to this one, we need 50% support for the KPPE. And we're at... Well, it's going down. Um, well, I guess we just have to have the strike first. Who General Staff? Sure. And then... Raise the Black Madonna. I guess, to get more civilian more support. The Black Madonna is a sacred portrait of the Blessed Virgin Poplar amongst Poland's lower classes, the protectress of Poland and her lower classes. By adopting the Black Madonna as a symbol of our movement, our people know that the Blessed Virgin is on her side when the time comes. Might as well get some more free war support. Might as well, right? 
There you go. Thank you. So we got this one ish. Um, we could really just surround Krakow that way. Yeah, just surround Krakow. Even though that's gonna be probably the capital uh, up for the opposition. Just have them surround it, and then we can focus on this group and just kill them all that way. It'll be pretty good. There's a Black Madonna. We're 128 days next. Not bad. And then empower the morgues, infantry battalions, and artillery. Uh, this is not bad either. Re reassemble the jam, but we can't do one yet. Empower the morgues. We can't do one yet either. Well, I guess we just have to wait. God dang it. That's dumb. Um, well, that's the case. Clap down, Gdansk. Officially, Danzig is a free city under Polish protection, but as of late, the city has fallen into the Nazi rule and is bopping to Hitler in all but name. This blemish on our northern borders is nothing but an obstruction to Polish trade, and we must reassert control over the city or else crumble it to the Germans. Because that wouldn't be cool. Expand instruction to factories. Allows us to bring industrialized states. Oh, industrialized states. That will be kind of cool. I'd rather do this one, sort of-ish. Get more generals, because that'd be pretty good. Um, remember 25 days. Raise the Black Madonnas. Clamp down on Danzig. Because we have the political power already. Can we not bring this one? Uh, can we do both? No, just one. Yeah, we'll do that one, because we can. We need more political power for Danzig. Uh, and then we'll do the four-year plan, maybe. We must plan for the expansion of our infrastructure to accommodate not only our present industry, but also the future. Pretty much. We can only get 0.74 political power every single day, which does kind of suck, but whatever. Oh, wow. Whoa. We have a lot more options here now. Ah, screw you. Ooh, the general staff as well, because he can. Because that'll be the last thing we can do here. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. Um, I'm not sure how... This, did this reset itself or something? Um, I want Krakow. But... Because mm, we did some of these over. We did this one and this one. I like Warsaw, but... Maybe Plock? I, I don't know. We're just getting probably peasant units. That's probably that's probably it right now. But 20 days, and we should be really like 10 days. Once this, once this one is done, it'll be basically go time. And we'll clap down Danzig. Yay! And then five, and then four days left. Estonia Claire is killing itself. We see Danzig, which is good. We have a focus. Um, how many more days left do we have? Four days. We have seven days. I kind of want to wait until... The, oh, there we go. A royal wedding in Brazil. <clears throat> the peasant strike. Tensions have boiled over in the east. The police have been deployed in the east to deal with these protesters, but the brutality of the officers is doing little but flanning the flames of revolt among the populace. Everybody would not resolve this crisis as soon as possible. We may, f well, face a civil war. The strike, organized by peasant party leader Stanislaw Mikolajewski, has formed a coalition of Democrats, Socialists, and Communists in opposition to the Polish government and have ignored all excited rebellion. The peasants are revolting. Oh, we still have to wait that long? Oh. Um, we can't do anything over here yet, so... Okay. Uh, I guess for you plan, then. And we need Titan Control, but not Raid Nazi stuff. Um, resistance Growth too, would be pretty good. Getting more Compliance immediately would be pretty good as well. Getting more Daily Compliance is pretty good, too. Get both of these. That's actually really good to do there. Um, just gotta wait for this one first, I guess. Uh, let's do that. Convoys, everything else doesn't really matter. And then, boom, there you go. Because that is going to suck. So we'll never set. That's fine. Actually, we can duplicate you. G horses, gorses. There you go. God, our templates are so small. Actually, just take it off. Take it off. When in doubt, you take it off. That's what I've learned in my life. Cool. So after this one, can we get you? No. Okay. We need to bring you back into the strike or something. I want Danzig under us too, but hmm. Warsaw? Maybe go right there too? I, I don't know. I just want to have the civil war right now. Tensions boiled over in the east. If we do not resolve the crash as soon as possible, we may well face a civil war. The strike organized by peasant party leader Stanislaw Mchikitikumagmawal has formed a coalition, of course. Oh, that's exactly what I read earlier. Oh. If not completed in 108 days, every own state moves to the capital of Krakow. Non aligned support start a civil war. Only known as Poland. You'll become a leader, peasant hero. For your plan, followed up with Polish School of Mathematics. Do that one. Yeah. Mathematics is central to almost all things in the technological center, all across Poland. From Lviv to Warsaw, the mathematical schools are flourishing. Once capitalism is going to age of Polish thinkers and grant these men all that they need to make Poland the technological powerhouse it deserves to be. Yeah, we can't do this one, so. 
Son of us. Give some more PP though. Point mm, five, not very good. Especially when you're doing stuff in here for uh, Danzig. Oh my goodness. It going up so fast, so fast. Holy crap. What do we not have enough of guns? We're trying to get as many guns as possible right now. You know what? We risk it. Here. Save some guns. School of Math, Polish School of Mathematics, Federal Railway Gaps. Eh, we could. Central Region Strategy. By centralizing factories far from the border, we will boost our production while also protecting them from any would-be conquerors. Mechanical computing, not bad. Dan's is going to get really bad here. I should have waited until we have more political power, but oh well. Fighters, and then some of this, and then some truckerinos, yeah. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, there we go. Tank control will be good. Yeah. So we just have to save up for that one. So if we don't do anything here, what happens? I mean, I might have to redo this one off screen just because I've never tried this before, so... I don't like that we have to wait this long for the Peasant Strike. I mean, if we had the countdown before, why the heck do we have to wait so long again? That's not cool. It's very annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. But yeah, Unification Propaganda would be good. And get another research slot. It would also be very good. Come on, come on, just fire already, for the love of God. Full school of mathematics. 15 days. Military appeasement is not worth it. Uh, such a region strategy, I guess. Oh, Lithuania's killing itself, too. Nice. Another research slot's always very good. Happy 37, everybody. Get some more output. 58% is quite a bit. Now it's going down a little bit, which is nice, but still. Yeah, just as much as I want to do unification propaganda, it's tight and control. So basically, you get more daily compliance with this one. Oh, well, we've lost it. Really? This is what we end up with? Oh, this is not good. This is not ideal. I don't think I like the Civil War, but we'll see what happens. God dang, does this game lag hard when you try to save? It's kind of, kind of ridiculous, but that's okay. Alright, so what are we doing? You guys are just going to be, that's fine. You guys. Um, you should all be done here, right? Yeah, that's fine. So, you will be led by... Marion? Hey, Marion. Hello. And you guys come down there. As a northerner, it's going to get Dracula's too. Uh, we mix your cavalry, so... Oh, I got Boleslaw, dude. So now, since we don't have Warsaw the way to do with... Um, go to, I want to use cavalry quite a bit if we can. Go to here as well. There we go. Weird flag, but okay. So you can just go straight on in. Do we have any planes, though? That's a real question. Yes. A few planes here and there. There we go. Go in. Peasant uprising in Krakow. Very cool, very cool. Actually, if anything, just go up that way if you can. That'd be great. Cut these guys off, kill them off, and go up here and kill them off, and just kill them off. You know? How many divisions do they have? Uh, probably about roughly the same as we do. Probably. Move, 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 move. The faster you move, the better we are. Oh, go right here, right there. That'd be so good if we could. And we got to circled immediately. How great is that? That is just phenomenal. Hey, we got these guys in circle, though. That's good. Cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Go straight for Warsaw. Yes, we'll get some army XP this way, too. It's not looking good, is it? Nope. Come on, come on, cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Cut, cut, cut them off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! Actually, do we have any... Oh, yeah, we left left this gem. Communal governance. That's not bad. It gives more stability. Let's get this one. Too many divisions out now. The front morgues have proven themselves being an ally to democracy. Nothing we have achieved until now would have been possible without support. Perhaps these generals would have earned the right to head their own branch of the military. 50%, 50%, huh? That's a little gem. What is that one first? Because we want those divisions out now. Good. Oh, it actually took Warsaw. What? Torun is a capital. How? how? Bro, how? Broskis. 
Got the vits. Would be nice. Hmm. This is a giant mess, though. If you want to go down here, that'd probably be working, working out quite well for you as well. These guys have been circled. That's nice. Uh, going in too if you want. Hey, there you go. You freed yourself. Good job, guys. I don't know how these guys have so much supply when they uh completely cut off, but whatever. He just kind of he's this guy's going to get encircled and killed off. <laughs> so we're going to be lost. Twelve thousand versus fifty-one thousand. That's not bad so far. We already have Warsaw, which is pretty good too. I know I could be doing this a lot more efficiently, but whatever. Um, just want to kill a side off. Yeah, just go. Just take every tile you can. Uh, avoid Danzig until the very last. Fire the morgues, cool. Uh, resemble this gem. Do we get anything here? If we do that immediately, not really. We get more democracy, which we don't want. Um, oh, this one. We love this gem. Well, the Polish people's party is preferable to the Sand Nation. Social Democrats lack the backbone to do the radical reforms necessary to truly liberate the proletariat of Poland. It's only through the direct leadership of the Communist Party that the Polish people may break, break their chains for good. Excuse me, thank you. Actually, you guys are not too bad. Six in combo, but this is not bad with the support artillery. We're just going to hold down this area as much as we possibly can. This area just refuses to die for some reason. You don't really want Danzig, but whatever. Oh, we got him. Nice. I, I, that wasn't too bad. I mean, we started... It looked really bad to begin with, but it wasn't that bad. Tight in control. Oh my god, we have to redo this one. Oh my god, why? 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 I can do that one. Save up for that one, too. Um... Compliance is going down? I was going up. Okay, so now we have more than 40%. Tank control. Immediately do that one. Nice. Well, that, wasn't, that was a lot better than I thought it would be. So I do apologize if I was slightly raged there. But, you know, I, I'm always worried about doing well. And sometimes if I don't do well, then we don't do well. Huh. Edit these divisions. It's 12 combo width, but you guys are 18 combo width. Do we have any artillery? I don't know. We have a spot of artillery, which is not bad. Oh, we can't convert you guys. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? Well, that's our military. <sighs> um, That's not good. What is this? Lithuania Independent SSR? Okay, that's not bad. Oh, hello, Stanislaw Mikolajewski. No, I say his name perfectly right. So after that one, community governance? Actually, we could reassemble this one, but yeah, it doesn't give us that much. Actually, we could get Stanislaw Wojcicki. Um, that would get even more political power. That would be nice. That would do anyways. Well, if Democratic practices reestablished in Poland, this time we reinvented this. We reinvited the Semjiks, who were cast up by the Senation back into the government. Is that what we're doing? Not really. But soon enough, we'll get some more uh, daily political power. Well, eventually. Uh, yeah. This one's not too bad to do. Is resistance artist. Do this before unaligned. Democratic reformist. Social autocrat. Oh my gosh, plus 20%. That's quite a bit. Because we need that immediately, pretty much. National journalist. Why well, am I trying to get more democratic support? Because we can. That's literally it. Decryption power is not bad, too. Falangist military is probably not going down that way. Community governance. The peasants' war, though necessary, wrecked havoc and devastation on the countryside. Now it's time for rebuilding and establishing local communal governments in our rural communities, which will heal the scars of war. How's the Danzig looking? Is it doing any better yet? It definitely is. That is good. Coffee is also very, 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 very good. I might be a coffee addict, but don't tell anybody that. There you go. Start working on some of that stuff. We need some more trains, artillery, just, you know, all the good stuff. Pretty much like normal. Alright, so that's not bad. If anything, don't cut you down in half. Another field marshal, thank you. Amelia Earhart, good job. Um, why not? Holler. Actually. Yeah, you're defensive. You know what? Actually, I'm going to promote you. Because you already have the defensive thing there, so. Alright, so we got to wait now. Let's 
kind of okay. Okay, sure, why not? New Polish industry? We could. Closer defense, national defense fund. Fill the railway gaps. Poland was once divided between three powers, and such as the rail networks are distant and unconnected. We must unite these three separate railways into one if we are to make Poland the centralized industry we needed to become. Alright, you. Got stuff there. Oh, Anarchist Uprising. Oh, I don't think we can send actual divisions over there, huh? Oh. There you go. That's better. Alright. Um, fuel would not be bad. Artillery. Give me a some anti tank, perhaps. Well, you already are a field marshal, might as well. You need a new person. Yeah, that's not ideal, but whatever. Construction 2. Some extraction because he can. Get you over there. And then you guys go right there. Definitely not going to be strong enough in the future, but whatever. Not yet, at least. Oh, let me just do it. Good. Uh, oh, or maybe not. Kill me. Just, yeah, that's not bad. Research speed, acceptance, communist diplomacy. Eventually, but we're going to go with the bullet slot because 20% is not bad. We can only get 1.14, which is okay. Give that world economy? We cannot yet. We need more. We need to just become actually communist. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get become communist. We're on a historical, so hopefully Germany doesn't start knocking on our door too soon. There you go. So now, 1.54. That's pretty nice. So then we're going to continue just clamping down on Danzig a little bit more. I'll ban the Nazi party. Less than... More than 80% compliance. More Less resistance. That'd be good. National Defense Fund. What are we building up here? Roads? I mean, that's nice. That too. There you go. New Polish industry? With the West now reclaimed from the Germans, we must develop the burgeoning industries in cities like Gdania, which are rapidly coming to rival Warsaw and Grandeur. Not a bad idea. And getting more railways would be good too, but... And two infrastructures. Oh, that's nice. We're giving a forbes and bypass, as it probably should be. Investing in Poland? Uh, we're not going to do that one, probably. Yeah. Just because I have an idea what we're going to end up doing. Actually, can we send you volunteers? Very weird to have Poland in green color. No, we can't send volunteers anyways. So that sucks. Can't do that one. Uh, resources, we're kind of okay for now. Um, military civvies. Prepare for the next great war? The Great War may have only been the first of its kind. We must prepare for what must surely be an ever-changing battlefield. Pretty much, man. And we'll try control eventually, too. If we can, we will. That's the next one immediately. And then getting more daily uh, army XP next. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, still going up, though. Hmm. But the plot's still going up as well, so that's a little more important. Prepare for the next war. Krakow. Uh, that wouldn't be bad, either. 70-day focus. That's so long. Krakow. 35-day focus. Warsaw, Kios, Plok. Invest in the old Polish region. Central defense of Poland. Develop Upper Silesia. Well, modernize all factors like in Kios. Skarsisko, Radom, Sarachowicz, and Ostrowicz, Vich, while also building new ones to strengthen our industry. Yeah, invest in the old Polish region. Old Polish region. Yeah. Can you guys keep training? You're going to need to train where we're headed. Our divisions are just not there at all. Yeah. 15. Oh, is it going down? Oh, it's going down now. Nice. Ah, oh, it's compliance. Radio's good. Good, good, good. Got some radar as well. Because now we're going to ban the Nazi party. We've got enough support amongst the populace of Gdansk so we may officially purge the city of Nazis reclaim the city for the Polish state. So it's no longer the core of the free city of Danzig. Oh, America's going to get involved. No longer be demilitarized zone. Remove resistance from Gdansk. Remove international city. And rename Gdansk to Gdansk. Not bad. Yep, next. next now the next one will be uh, choosing one of these things. 37, not bad. Arenos. Um... Fuel, maybe? I don't know. We we'll definitely give you some trucks, though. Good. Tank control, I would love to do that one, but. Marjorie. We gotta start working on our daily army XP game. It's not very much, but it is what it is. We gotta choose that one. So, right now, we are at 45% uh, communist support. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Yeah, we have to wait for this one. So, we could go with the elective PSL, PSL leader, but. We're going to go assemble our leftist cabinet. 
or integrate Gdansk Industries. For decades, Gdansk has been separate from the rest of the nation, but no more. By integrating Gdansk into our administration, we'll be able to reclaim control of our exports and imports. That'd actually be really good to get rid of this embargoed economy, which is pretty bad. Even hurts our agency upgrade times. Wow. So now, nah, so we don't do that stuff anymore. Gdansk is a full core of ours. And we got some more dockyards. Pretty nice. Oh, do we lose all of our ships? Oh no, we still have them. We lose our admiral? No, we still have him. Oh. There you go, train until you die. Quite literally, train until you die. Do you have any upgrades? Uh, maneuver's okay, lone wolf. Uh, you can still up, an expert. This way you don't die as much. We'll see what happens. We'll probably still die anyways. It's fine. Commerce rating, I usually like that one, so I'm going to do that one too, why not? Actually. Yeah, we can do that one. We can do this one, or we can do this one. 0 0.09, 0 0.06, it's kind of like rating. More speed is not bad, but still. And it's of course 38. Happy 38, everybody. Nice, 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 nice. And now we're at. I think the next one we'll probably grab someone else who can do comedy stuff for us. Oh, there goes those people. Goodbye. Autocratic peoples, nationalists. It's not bad. More warsport would be pretty good too. Maybe have any more political power, maybe instead. Communist intellectual is not bad. And industrialist. You know, right industrialist, democratic person. I don't want more daily democracy support. I prefer. I don't like that. I don't mind that one, but still. Hmm. Nationalist, determinist, communist, revolutionary. That's just flat amount, though. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Over oh, thirty-eight. Do some infantry stuff. There you go. So after that one, ooh, plan east, plan west. We probably want to. We're honestly probably going to plan uh west. Yeah, Sweet Denton Mountains. Yeah, I don't know what the Germans are going to be up to. And we'll also invest in the Old Polish region, too. And there goes Spain. Spain is won. Spain has beaten Spain. Good job, Spain. And we're 46%. Yeah, we definitely got to do something here. 100. That's not bad. It's only 0 0.05, though. Greater Finland declared war on Finland. Well, the Finnish are killing themselves, huh? Well... We might as well choose here, just to get this slightly faster, ever so slightly faster. It's not much faster, but... Ah! Please go, 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 go! New Military Academy? Mmm, it's okay. Develop Gdansk itself, subs. Ooh, for naval adoption would be bad, but expand Krakow Industries, expand this. Yeah, still looking okay. Actually, this is aluminum. Do we need aluminum? We will. We will definitely need aluminum. Central Defense of Poland. Kios block, where is yeah, best in this area? Just go and do. We'll do that one. Expand the captive its resources. Despite its relative small size, Upper Silesia is a treasure trove of. Oh, look at that. Steel and aluminum. Though it would be ideal to control the entirety of Silesia, we must now, for now, exploit the Upper Silesian industries to their fullest. Abs positively, literally. And New Zealand does as well. Saints, all the view. Ravon, Canada, Clarence. Everyone's, everyone's declaring independence, including India. Von, Lise, Nakarad. Oh! They actually go to war with those guys. Look at that. Well, that's not good. But, good to know that they're doing that. Political actions, anti chemistry raids, promise of peace, open working conditions. It's not bad. War propaganda would be good as well. 47% Jesus Christ. So Armor, air superiority, cavalry attack and defense. Go and grab some more army XP. We could really use it. Goodbye, Austria. And, uh, the British Empire is back. Have I played as a British Empire before? <laughs> Only British Malaya stayed in. Huh. It's kind of peculiar, but okay. Could go to there, but I want to, we gotta become communist first. Uh, Krakow? Uh, Poland's old capital, Krakow, has been freed from the clutches of the Austrian Empire, but the city still remains shackled by its past. Lacking the modern industries that needs to rival the West, with investment, we shall bring Krakow back from the dead. I guess that's the idea. That's definitely the idea. Oh my god, it takes so long. I should not have done the one that gave us 5% more democratic support. But that's good enough for the future. Very, very good to know. It's still June 38th, though. Goodbye, Austria. I hope the Germans lost a lot of guys doing that war. Only 19 divisions. That's so bad. We need more trucks. Other than that, we're looking pretty good on guns, though. Oh. Um, we might want to do Plan West immediately, though. 
The acts of bringing them down are next, though some of the some within the government believe our relationship with Hitler to be cordial. We know that the Germans cannot be trusted, and extensive plans in the West are necessary to securing Poland's future. Might as well get that one done now. And there goes Austria. Oh. Good job, checks. Can we see any volunteers? No. Oh! Oh, the Germans are already fighting these guys. Interesting. Well, we'll see what happens. They didn't announce an alliance, France and Britain, but. We're fighting these guys and these guys. Interesting. It's not good if they win. Um. Hmm. My god, can you go any slower than this? Probably. They probably can. Do they, no, they're still pushing out just a little bit. They're close to Vienna. They're very close to Vienna. Greater Portugal is killing itself too. And we we were this one, right? Yeah. Extend Krakow Industries would be good. Ooh, they're getting pushed back just slightly, maybe? Maybe? Nice. Daily command power increase. Not bad. Alright, anyone here? Or industrialist, democratic, patriotic, socialist? Worst, worst part would be pretty nice. We're just so close anyways. Oh, there we go. Assemble the leftist cabinet. The KPP is a party of revolutionaries ready to t take the drastic action necessary to bring the socialism to Poland. Well, some of these, uh, those who are loyal to the Senation have since changed their allegiances. We're going to trust them to fill our cabinet where they must be replaced with our revolutionary comrades. Nice. That's finally good. Finally good to see that one. Do you have more fuel, maybe? Oh, Czechoslovakia. Oh, boy. They did lose a towel there. Oh, they've been pushing in here, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No chief of the army. All right. Well, that's great. Your findings good, too. anti commenter back. Germany proposes that we sign an address or a, to, the, to, a pact to address the commenter's goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion and violence. By signing this pact, we agreed to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against the menace. Do you see how communist we are, Germany? Join them. Now nah, we good. So we gotta wait to do that. Oh, public demand rearmament. The ongoing war approaching our borders has loomed over the upcoming election, with many voters being concerned that the Polish Peasant Union is not as prepared for being thrown into this conflict or whatever may arise from it. They demand uh, we increase our precautions and ensure that our nation is ready for war. While the majority still support the PS PSL, we may lose them to more radical elements we don't alleviate their uh, apprehensions. Oh, good early. Oh, we go to early mobilization. No, no, I don't want early mobilization. <laughs> Said no one ever. As we're making more civvy still. Oh my goodness. Uh, honestly, do that one. That would be good to do for now. Uh, 38, 38, 38. You know what? Actually, I must have wanted to do that one. Get some armor trains. That would be very useful. 12 divisions. Not bad. But they're only 10 combos, which is really bad. Got to make them thicker. And eh, more anti-air. Uh, with you guys. Oh, we need more data. Army XP. God dang it. I want to wait. Flip comp communist go straight to war economy uh, we well, get 1.53 every single day so just go and grab uh, maybe armor dude yeah go get the armor we need we need more army XP and the Germans have beat them back they got encircled though that's kind of cool let Germany struggle let them struggle quite a bit we don't want Germany to win but we don't want them to lose too fast either I want them to do okay ish Mitro so Soviet Bulgarian treaty all right I'm okay with that are we out of support? No, we actually have enough still. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better. Could be worse, but not bad. Five more. Make sure that these guys are thick enough to die on the front lines. Um. Yep. And a symbol left his cabinet, which would be great. So now we gotta decide whether we surrender the east, which I'm kind of feeling I want to do this one because I don't know how many people would actually do this. The Polish path of socialism sounds actually really good as well. Polish socialism. Mm, the Polish Soviet Socialist Republic, because eventually, if we, I want to go down this route maybe, so we can get a lot of German cores and then do independence. We could do the Greater Polish Independent SSR, Greater Polish SSR, but hmm, decisions, decisions, and let's see what happens. Infighting in the KPP. The Communist Party of Poland has been a host of a long standing conflict between those who wish to see Poland in the line with the USSR and those who believe the USSR is every bit as imperialistic as a monarchist regime, which preceded it. Repressing or representing the anti Soviets is Maria Kozutska, an alleged 
Trotskyite, who accuses her pro-Soviet comrades of being boneless and enemies of the revolution and acting as a de facto leader. Vladislav Gomulka represents the pro-Soviet wing of the party, although already popular within the party. Gomulka has been growing increasingly pop unpopular amongst the Polish populace for his pro-Russian diplomatic stance. Although now in control of Poland, the party is divided on which of these candidates should represent their leadership. In the wake of the, their indecision, there is mounting pressure from Moscow to not only forbid Kozutska from the leadership, but to say to have her face trial as a Trotsky and anti-revolutionary. Oh, we have to choose right now. Oh, crap. Independent leftist. That's kind of cool. And Poland belongs to the USSR. Honestly? Daily autonomy progress gain. Pro-Soviet. You know what? I did say I want to give you guys options, but now that I know that she's a Trotskyite, I want to do this path again later, but for now, we'll surrender the East. We'll become a, a puppet of the USSR and see what happens. That's probably a really bad idea, because the Soviet Union is not that strong in this current patch of the game, but whatever. Um, yeah, if actually, you know what? We'll get Trotsky eventually. That'd be cool to do the Polish path of socialism, so let's go surrender the East. The USSR sees Eastern Poland as rival parts of Ukraine and Belarus, which the USSR claims to represent. Perhaps by seeding these territories with the Soviets, we may become allies. Oh, why would I purposely hurt us this badly? Just to see what would happen. Oh, they joined the common turn. Formalized anti-Soviet pact. So now, we have these guys in the common turn. We have Lithuania in the common turn. We have, oh, Spain in the common turn. It's not a weak, it's not a super weak common turn either. Uh, Finland's in the axis, but that's because they're Estonian, I think. Yeah, yeah, they're Estonian as well. Not bad. Hey, this is for communists now. And now we can go straight to war economy. Yay. We can actually build, maybe we should build some. That's why I just waited to build anything in the east. Because I don't, this would be worthless to us. Until we get it back. Someday. Hopefully. Oh, look at this guy. He's kind of balding. Pro-Soviet. Nice. This is, I'm, done, I'm trying to do the routes that some people would just not take. So that's why I went crazy and do that. So we can... Do the Greater Polish SSR route, in which you get if they we can get our states back, maybe, or just go declare independence and kill off the Germans or not, the Soviet Union, because after that one, before that one, we want to do pressure the West. So we can go to war with the Germans. So, what process? An Anglo-Italian alliance. Very odd, but whatever. Uh, get more up. up. We need more output. Uh, the Polish Soviet Socialist Republic. Poland is among the most industrialized and independently powerful of the USSR member states, so it's only natural that we enjoy a higher degree of autonomy become a colony. So right now, with this one, we lose territory. We literally become a puppet. So we lose, we'll probably have like 20 factories max. But becoming a colony, I think should give us a few more factories back. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, this is a stupid path to do for us. We're literally surrendering our independence to a greater power, but whatever. Uh, 1.56 still. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> Willingly giving up our own territory to not die. And actually, let's connect Lithuania to these guys too. So that's not terrible. Get some more guns. And actually, if the Soviets have enough industry or enough equipment, which they probably won't, um, we would get some equipment too. So that'd be very nice. Let's buy one more. We'll get some anti tank, get some cast. Uh, Ninety is not bad. Is that worth doing now? I want to. We gotta wait and just fill stuff up first. So the east, the Soviet Union accepts. God, I'm hurting ourselves so much, so badly. The Soviet Union has agreed to take us as a protectorate, and we've been integrated into the USSR as a subject state. Though many across the country feel betrayed by our decision. Uh, Vladislav Gomulka has assured the Polish people that Stalin is a friend of Poland, and that any ethnic Poles now integrated in the USSR will directly be c content with the new Soviet overlords. A necessary sacrifice. Ah, uh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Um, uh, the... Oh! Oh, look at this. Actually, do you want to wait for this one? Let's wait for that one. The Dabrowskaskiski. There are international brigades of Polish volunteer forces fighting for socialist and democratic movements worldwide. And was a socialist government, now in control of Poland, were able to bring the support of the Polish state behind these brave soldiers and volunteers and stuff like that. Zog Simits? Um, Czechoslovakia. What the heck? This is a talk on national well, they're the Allies. I guess they join America, and America's going to get involved. Um. Hey, actually, we didn't lose that many factories. We lost five. That's actually not too bad. That could be a lot, lot worse, actually. But compliance is going up. That's very nice as well. But yeah, then we'll do the Polish Soviet Socialist Republic next. Establish a socialist economy. That wouldn't be too bad. Abolish discriminatory recruitment. The Committee of National Liberation. That's not too bad. We could use that as well. Armia Ludova. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Lower class education. Not bad. But we all pressure for the West. After this, we're just going to just beeline through these two. Because I want to go to war with the Germans as fast as possible. Because we want territory from them. Hopefully the Germans will be able to defeat the Czechs. So. And then we could go to war with the Axis. Uh, Soviet Union, Finland, Estonia. And 
we can get pretty much all of Germany under us. We're just going to annex them, probably, um, just because we can. Uh, the People's Front here on China, huh? I need to play this China. I think I'll play some other nations as well. Try them out. We got some volunteers. Uh, kind of okay for now. But yeah, having Spain with us, too, is not that weak. It's pretty nice. So after this one, pressure for the West, because we're going to go to war immediately, and hopefully have the Soviets do okay. The exact borders between Poland and Germany were a subject of debate in the decades following the Great War. In this debate, the Germans retained most of their industrial centers, leaving Poland with little resembling an industry, with at least surrendered to the Soviet Union. These territories must be replaced with Silesia and Pomerania. And we'll probably end up doing Soviet military staff. That's not bad either. I kind of like that one as well. Uh, with the establishment of the Second Polish Republic, many leftist Polish generals fled to the, US to the USSR to continue the fight for the World Revolution. Now, so if the line government is in power, these brave exiles may return home. But I think I'm going to end it there for today, just so we can see what happens in the future. So, yeah. We lost a lot of territory, but I want to try to route that, I think, and I'm pretty sure most people would probably not try out. But I could be wrong. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll go to war with the Axis and hopefully beat them up and get more cores and maybe even fight against the good old Stalin daddy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.